So the Valve Steam Deck, that handheld beast of a gaming PC has been delayed by two months, but unlike when you hear moans from your upstairs and you walk in there and kick in the door and your best friend is snow plowing your wife and you're like, what the hell? I didn't see this coming. Miss Cleo could have predicted this. You didn't have to be a detective. You didn't have to be Sherlock Holmes and bust out your monocle to be like, well, I, I do believe that this here console is going to be delayed uh, be due to the, the silicon shortage. Yeah, well, I called it a console. I know it's a gaming PC, but it's kind of console-like. It does have an APU and it does run a dedicated operating system, Steam OS, and it's in a very small form factor handheld frame, very similar to the Switch OLED, a little bit bigger, but I, I do get it's a gaming PC. I understand that's its title and, you know, because you can put any operating system you want on it, you can do anything you can do on a personal computer. It is a PC, but kind of like a hybrid. It's kind of like a hybrid, no Prius, but because it is it has a lot of console like features as well. But anyway, I did order the top tier bad boy for 650 bones, the 512 gigabyte uh, super fast SSD and the anti glare etch screen and whatnot. And I kind of knew going into this that it was going to be delayed. Why? Well, because we're in the middle of a silicon shortage. It's affected the PlayStation 5. It's affected the Xbox Series S and X. It's affected Nvidia's graphics cards. It's affected AMD's graphics cards. It has affected auto manufacturers from putting infotainment systems in the dash of their cars. It has actually stopped two or three cell phone models from being released this year. Uh, I mean, if Apple didn't produce their own silicon, they might have actually had delays. It's affecting everything. I just learned how to read here recently, so I'm going to go ahead and celebrate by uh, spitting off some words here. The launch of the Steam Deck will be delayed by two months, so not bad. Better than two years. We're sorry about this. We did our best to work around the global supply chain shortage. But due to material shortages, components aren't reaching our manufacturing facilities in time for us to make our initial launch dates. And another little sidebar here, a little note, they never had any set in stone definitive launch dates. They had quarters and those were even loose as a goose as well. They were like Q3 of 2022. And even then it had a little caveat, a little fine print at the bottom that said like these are estimated delivery times. So it was never like this was the set in stone time you were going to get your Steam Deck. Based on our updated build estimates, Steam Deck will start shipping to our customers February of 22. So any of the three models, including the base model, which is the 64 gigabyte joint, uh, which retails for $400, so only 50 US dollars more than the Switch OLED. If you have not watched any of my other Steam Deck content, I'm just going to go ahead and just give you a little heads up here, I'd be ca cautious with this bad boy here. Not just because of the storage, because you can always pop in a micro SD card. Granted, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's eMMC memory, which is substantially slower than an NVMe solid state drive. This will be the new start date of the reservation queue. All reservation holders keep their place in line, but dates will shift back accordingly. So, so even if you got your foot in the door with a pre-order and you got some foreskin pinched up in the game, so to speak, you're, you, you're still subject to this two month delay. Again, we're sorry you won't be able to make our original ship date. We'll continue working to improve reservation dates based on a new timeline and we'll keep folks updated as we go. And also keep in mind that it is still only $5 to pre-order these bad boys and you aren't expected to actually pony up the dough for this gaming PC until your unit is actually ready to be delivered. Uh, that's another bug that I'd like to put in all y'all's ears is that a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'll just I'll just order it right now for five bucks. Come to find out that fucking Darlene needs a set of tits and, and, and Billy needs a new set of braces. He's been cutting keys with his teeth. And then they're like, well, I can't afford a, a $400 handheld PC. A new a handheld PC isn't really priority. So what happens is a lot of people aren't gonna follow through with their pre-orders. Another fun little factoid here, I did cover this when it happened. There are actual scalpers that are scalping literally nothing more than the pre-order reservation. The same thing was happening with the Halo themed limited edition Xbox Series X, which looks sexy, by the way. eBay was canning, eliminating, discarding all of those listings, citing their policy that whatever they sell, if it's a pre-order or whatever, has to be made available within 30 days, I do believe it is. It was either 30 or 60. I want to say 30. It's a month. And obviously, these aren't set to be released for several months. So these stupid scalpers, they got a $5 pre-order, which again, anybody watching this video right now can go walk in one of these $5 pre-orders. It's it's they're not blocked out or anything like that. So unfortunately, the Valve Steam Deck has been delayed by two months again. This is very foreseeable. Silicon shortage has affected every single consumer grade electronic, especially in the video game space. Drop in the comment section below if you did lock in a Steam Deck. Are you excited about it? Me personally, I think it is going to be an absolutely amazing piece of tech, an awesome piece of gaming hardware and kind of the Switch 2 or Switch Pro or Super Switch that was that we wanted. They got hinted around about 
that we thought was gonna really blow our tits back with the NVIDIA chipset, low mid-range PC performance, and a handheld. And the fact that it is so versatile, because it is a PC. You can remove old Linux-based SteamOS and put Windows 10 or 11 on there. You can, uh, you could probably crypto mine with it. It's a PC. I mean, you, you could do anything that you can do with a PC. You can dock it and cast it onto a monitor with a keyboard and mouse. Like it's, it's a PC. I am just, I'm, I'm, I'm trembling to get my hands on it. That is going to do it, Stallions. If you enjoyed this video, liking it will help it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in the system as well. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing and honest gaming peripheral reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, mics, etc. I'll see you tomorrow. I upload daily. Most of the time. <laughs>